what's up y'all hopefully my camera battery lasts because i'm dumb and i didn't charge it before doing this video but it says it's at full battery which is a lie but anyways i'm gonna actually keep this intro short which i say every single time but like actually i will do it this time so long story short um i made a mochi cake from trader joe's a couple weeks ago and it was delicious um but it was like a box mix or whatever and i found a recipe for mochi muffins which i am assuming is very similar to the cake but it's homemade and i thought i want to try it and i want to make a video of me trying it for the first time so that's what we're doing today we're gonna make some mochi muffins and hopefully it turns out delicious if not you live and you learn right so anyway we're gonna get into making these muffins and I'm gonna stop talking. Well, for now, okay? Okay. All right, so the first thing that it calls for in a medium bowl, you're gonna add half a cup of brown sugar, which I have over here, a half a cup of regular white sugar, and two cups of, let me see if I can turn the camera. Um, this is sweet rice flour or glutinous rice flour. Um, I got this one from Amazon for pretty cheap. Um, if you have like an Asian market near you, I'm absolutely sure they have this, but I just didn't feel like making a special trip just for this. It's just easier to get it from Amazon. So instead of regular flour, it calls for glutinous rice flour or sweet rice flour. So I'm gonna add two cups of this, a half cup of brown sugar, a half cup of regular sugar, and two teaspoons of baking powder. So let's do it. Also, this is the half cup cup, so that's why I'm adding four in case anyone gets confused that's what i'm doing so two cups of sweet rice flour a half cup of regular sugar a half cup of brown sugar It also does call for a half teaspoon of salt, but I'm not gonna add that because I'm using salted butter. So if you're not using salted butter, a half teaspoon of salt. Two teaspoons of baking powder. larger bowl. I'm going to add two eggs. I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla. If y'all been around a while, you know I don't measure my vanilla, but I'm actually going to. I'm gonna do four tablespoons of melted butter. This is salted butter, because it's all I have. Um, it does say unsalted, but like I said, I'm not adding salt, so it's fine. In my head, it's fine. And then I'm gonna add a cup and a half of coconut milk. Um, this one I did get from the Asian market a while ago. I'm sure every, every regular grocery store carries that. All right, I'm gonna mix it together. And 
and I'm gonna add my dry ingredients. I'm gonna do it like half and half. Also, if you don't have a whisk like this, game changer. I mean, I do still have my tiny whisk. If you know, you know. <laughs> but this whisk is good for stuff like this. have the liners so I'm not greasing the pan but grease the pan if you don't have liners and it says to fill these two-thirds of the way full so that's what we're gonna do and instead of watching me do this very painfully um, we installed new windows in our living room this weekend so you can watch the like one minute clip of that that I have instead of watching me do this so this will magically be full after you're done watching that clip <laughs> it's kind of dry so y'all yeah. we're getting new well I say we're getting new windows we got the windows Jonathan's installing them and I'm kind of helping I mean I did help a little I help when I can, but my help is keeping Calvin out of the way and from going outside. So, um, yeah. This is our lack of windows so far. So, we finished putting in the windows yesterday. We didn't have to live with, like, no windows overnight. Jonathan got them in. He's putting the siding on our house now, like, back on. And then, obviously, we have to finish the inside trim because... These windows are different than the old ones, but at least we have new windows. It looks so much better in here. It's like so much brighter. Yes. Anyway, there's Calvin. Now we'll get back to my um, regular cooking content or whatever I'm doing. Preheated to 350 degrees. All right, we just got done taking Calvin for a walk. That's why I got my hat on, but. I'm gonna try this muffin. Um, Jonathan already tried it and he said it's really good. But the only problem is that I can already see 100%. I thought I was being smart by using the wrappers because usually it makes things easier. But um, not in this case. Not in this case at all. So. If you make this, do not use the wrappers. Probably just grease your pan because this is what's happening. I did already try it earlier. And it's good. I really like mochi check mochi texture. It's really like um kind of chewy. But this is a nice light coconut flavor and like a nice light sweetness. Um, oh. I don't know if you can see the, the chewy texture of it, but I'm getting crumbs everywhere. <laughs> These are really good. I just probably would not use the wrappers <laughs> because they're really hard to eat now. But with that being said, 
I'm gonna end this video. My next one is definitely gonna be a sourdough discard video, I think. I'm pretty sure. I bought the ingredients for it, so probably. Anyway, hope you all have an awesome rest of your day, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!